Hey guys, I'm James and this is Mostly Helpful. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about this, my ADA4 and an oil level sensor warning that's come up on the dash. So recently my car has been uh, coming up with a warning on the dash and it's this symbol up here. It tells me that my oil is at a minimum level. Now conveniently my car also needed a service so I have just serviced it and I took out five litres of oil which I've been able to tell because here in this container where I've taken the old oil we're in about here so four four and a half just under five. Now that is surprising I wouldn't have thought five litres for a car that would normally take six would complain about having a minimum oil level but I'm, I'm confident that having done a service and filled it back up with six litres of oil, capacity is 6.3 on this car, that that should be enough to extinguish this symbol. So a few minutes later and let's see what happens. No, symbol's still on. Maybe I need to do some more miles. Let's have a look. So as you've seen there, the oil level sensor has not reset so I've parked the car on the flat and now I'm going to check the oil just to be absolutely certain that there is no problem there. I've left the car for 15 minutes just to let the oil settle back down. Firstly nice and clean from being serviced cool. but if we have a look it is just here on this end uh, which is just close to the very top so it's definitely got enough oil in, no concerns about that. So the next thing to check is going to be this here. It's the bonnet catch. There's a sort of sensor in the bonnet catch down here. You can see some electrical wiring. Mine's got a little bit of copper showing on it. That might be the problem. So definitely need to investigate that because if the car doesn't see the bonnet open in this position, obviously, uh, it doesn't know then to reset the oil level light. Seems a crazy system to me. But without that, uh, knowing to reset, the oil light will never go well, I think I've discovered the issue. If we have a look here, just with this screwdriver, where is it going? If I can see, I've just pushed that brown lead and it's snapped off. Just in there, you know, there you go, that one. And it's snapped clean off of this micro switch, which is down here. Oh, come on, there we go. And that micro switch is what tells the car that the bonnet is open or closed. So as a final check regarding that bonnet switch, when the bonnet is open, as it is now, that switch should be closed. If the switch breaks, as it has, it breaks open, and that tells the car that the bonnet is closed. It sounds counterintuitive, but run with me. If I turn on the car, obviously we get the light that we've been talking about already, but you can see the door is open. I've just brought the camera in, the bonnet is open, but it's only showing the door open. Normally you'd see another symbol to show that the bonnet is open if for example i go around and open the boot so if i open the boot like that you get this symbol showing that the boot is open but i don't have that for the bonnet even though the bonnet is open and that proves that that switch has full gone open circuit and that is because those wires are broken so need a solution to that Let's hold that down turn the ignition on don't start the car and then press zero and there we go, we've reset our service indicator. So if I now turn the car off, I turn the car back on, I get the OK symbol and I, our service instructions have gone. Interestingly, that has turned out that yellow minimum oil light. And as I mentioned, there's a video coming on that soon because I've got a problem with my bonnet catch. So what's going on there with the car? Well, I think I've had a good think about what it is and I think the explanation is pretty simple. It appears that I genuinely was low on oil. I think the car with 6.3 litres of capacity and then pulling out five, let's assume there's 0.3 left in the car, um, it had used a litre of oil. So let's assume then that that indicator was right. And there are two things. If, you, if your oil light, it seems on these VAG cars, comes on in between service intervals, the way the system knows that you've topped up the oil or knows to reset that it should go and check the oil level is by looking at the movement of the bonnet via that bonnet catch. What I've then done, however, is because mine coincided with having a service, I've reset the service indicator and that resets the light. 
So the fact that my bonnet catch is broken or the wiring to my bonnet catch is broken doesn't appear to have made a difference. And presumably, if you were in between a service interval and you were prepared to just reset your service indicator partway through, you could get rid of that light without needing to fix your bonnet catch. But if you don't want to do that, then you need your bonnet catch to work. So that's what's happening. So I think in summary then, there are two ways of getting that light to go off. One is to top up your oil, making sure that your bonnet catch is working and the other one as i've done unwittingly in this case is to service your car and reset your service indicator so thank you as always for watching guys i hope you find that helpful and i look forward to coming to you in a new video very soon thanks and goodbye